fellow flowers, Violet here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking my tattoos. So, you know, being raised Mormon, tattoos were kind of this like dirty, shunned upon thing. You know, bo your body is a temple was always told to me. Got out of the church at around like 16, 17 and that was when I moved in with my older sister who was just starting to um, put in the work to become an apprentice at a tattoo shop. So I really got to see her drawing and her hard work and I got to learn all these different styles through her um, and I kind of got to see the other side of it. You know, there's the Mormon side of like, no, 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 don't do it. And there's this side of like, this is a craft and um, it's this is an art form. And that made me appreciate it so much more. So I turned 18 and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go get a tattoo. And I followed a bunch of artists on Instagram that were in my area. And I found Pete over at Full Circle Tattoo and was absolutely just blown away by his work. Because, you know, I had never actually gone out and like looked at tattoo artists or anything because I was supposed to. Um, and seeing his work for the first time was just like, whew, whoa. And so I messaged him up went down to the shop and literally told him, I just love your work. I have no preference on, you know, what goes on me, really. I just love it. So I'll be your canvas. So he opens his book and he's like, well, what, do you want to choose something from here? Like, do you, or like, are you sure you don't want me to draw something? And I was like, no, 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 no. What do you have drawn? And we just found this geisha in his book. And I was like, that's a really cool piece let's do it. And so it took probably five or six sessions. Um, but this is up, this is on my upper thigh. And this was the first one that I got. Um, and after I got this one, it was kind of like, oh man, I got to keep going. I'm not done here. And went back to him a couple months later and we opened up the book again, found a couple different things. Um, and then put on this piece, um, which is this girl with kind of these horns coming out of her head and then this baku, which is kind of diving. Um, and there were actually two separate pieces at first that we put together to fit the shape of the leg. It was funny because the timing of it was right around the time my mom had said to me, um, she was like, Violet, you know, the first time that I ever really got to hold you, got to meet you, was when I had come home from the hospital and I, you know, was laying on the bed and I held you up in the air and you looked down at me and we're just smiling. And she was like, it was like an angel was smiling down at me. And I was like, oh, that's interesting because I'm about to get this tattoo that, you know, looks like this angel demon thing. She was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect because, you know, angels and demons are kind of the same thing. Um, you know, angels can have horns just like demons can have horns. And I was like, okay. So it kind of, you know, reminds me of that story. And then the Baku is this dream eater, which, you know, keeps away like bad dreams and bad omens and stuff. Um, but I came to this point and I had two girl heads and I had a Baku. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. I have three sisters and a brother. So I'm like, I just need one more girl on me. I go back to Pete and he had posted on his Instagram this girl head of this like butterfly face. And it's funny because my two sisters are terrified of butterflies and hate everything that flies and has big eyes and all this stuff and so I was like let's do that one and got that one on and that was the most recent um piece that I got but since then we've been kind of um working on just kind of finishing it up tying up the bow and you know you know topping it off um with just some flower details and clouds so that's what we just have to finish up on but honestly it's probably been 30 or 40 hours of work lots of pain and healing but it's been so worth it and so rewarding um and what's cooler than being somebody's canvas i don't know <laughs> so i hope that you enjoyed just this quick overview of my tattoos if you have any questions about tattoos or tattooing in general my sister does now own her own shop in san diego um i will put her info down below as well as pete's info down below um and let's get the conversation going about tattoos more here on this channel i will see you soon in the next one and just keep blooming okay thanks bye